Man gets in the chair. <laughs> Fasten your seat belt, please. Ready to take off. Remain seated. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'd like to welcome everybody. Uh, tonight being our agenda meeting. Today being Wednesday, June 26th. And for the record, the time is 7 o'clock. Have we had anybody sign up for public comments? Yes. We had no public comments for tonight. We have uh, two joint public hearings. Uh, and the chair will entertain a motion to go into joint public hearing with the with the uh, planning board. I heard a motion. And second. And a second. It's been moved to second that we go into joint public hearings. Any discussion? There may none. All in favor of indicating somebody saying yes? Yes. 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 Opposed, no. Okay, accordingly, we're in joint public hearing. First item is a public hearing to receive comments on zoning 2019-01. A rezoning request to rezone property located at 308 Aubrey Court from R6 Residential Zoning District to R4 Residential Zoning District. This parcel contains approximately 0.58 acres and is identified by Nash County Tax Parcel Number 38001-694-5893. Is there anyone from the general public who has anything to say for or against this issue? You do, dear? Wait, wait, wait just a minute. Did you, you want to speak on this issue? Hold, hold on, hold on. C come forward, please. And go to the podium. And let us have your name and address for the record, please. And then talk away. Um, my name is Melinda Rose, and I live in Pine right. Mm -hmm. Um This is our lot, and we just want to build a townhouse on it that's just like the ones that are already in the neighborhood on the left and the right and across the street. Mm -hmm. I went out there today and looked at it. How does coming down to R4 appreciably change things from R6? Can you get two units in there? Is this, this your game plan? That's right. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Other comments? Questions? Anything for the planning board? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Does anyone have anything else to speak on this issue? Does anyone else have anything to speak on this issue? And for the third and final time, does anyone have anything to speak on this issue? If not, I'll declare that one closed and move to the next one, which is a public hearing to receive comments on special use 2019-01 requesting for a special use property located at 1900 Liberty Drive, zoning district R10 residential for the purpose of opening a daycare. This parcel contains approximately 0.66 acres and is identified by Nash County tax parcel number 3810130303. 0834 and I understand from talking with our planning director this more that this issue has been withdrawn am I correct you are correct okay so that issue will wait till we hear from it again mm -hmm. okay well that having been done then we will the chair will ask for most of you out of joint public hearing so it's been moved and right. seconded that we go out of joint public hearings any discussion there being none all in favor indicate somebody saying yes yes, yes. yes. opposed no Accordingly, now we're back in, in public session. We have a couple of items for consideration. Uh, number one, number A rather, is consideration of a resolution, a resolution directing the clerk to investigate a petition received under North Carolina General Statute 168-31. Uh, okay. And... It deals with an annexation, and I have got the resolution somewhere that has escaped to me. Just work with me just a minute. Nothing's nothing's going the way I want it to. <laughs> What's new? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm going. I'm pages all stuck together. Let's be the humidity. It's right before <coughs> that one right there. Yeah, okay. Please excuse me. I've some things just don't flip like they should be. Okay, this is a resolution 2019-10. Resolution directed to the clerk to investigate a petition received under North Carolina General Statutes 160A31 AP 2019-01. Whereas petition AP number 2901 requesting annexation of an area described in said petition was received on June 26, 2019 by the National Town Council. 
And whereas North Carolina General Statutes 168-31 provides that the sufficiency of a petition shall be investigated by the town clerk before further annexation proceedings may take place. And whereas the town council of the town of Nashville deems it advisable to proceed in response to this request for annexation, now therefore be it resolved by the town council of the town of Nashville that the town clerk is hereby directed to investigate the sufficiency of the above described petition to certify as soon as possible to the town council the result of her investigation adopted this 26th day of June 2019 with appropriate signatures and attestations. Does the chair hear a motion that we approve the resolution? Second. It's been moved. Second. And second, we approve the resolution. Is there any discussion? Okay, there being none, all in favor, in case everyone's saying yes? Yes. yes. Opposed, no. Accordingly, Madam Clerk, you will work with that, please. Okay, the next item is a budget amendment. We have got one one issue here of, of changing things around. You know, we've been working on budget amendments as we go, so we, we don't still have a whole pile of them. We've got a few of them, and this is some issues we're having in the Enterprise Fund to get things covered because of I and I. Uh, Rand, would you like to speak to that, or one of your staff people? Yeah, I think I'll defer to Russell. Okay, Russell. Okay. All right. So for budget amendment uh, 42, uh, the first, let's see, four items um, is to fund the I and I issue in a, in um, sewer, and uh, the we're reappropriating, we're we're decreasing the budget uh, by fifteen thousand in contingency, uh, fourteen thousand in retained earnings, six thousand in unemployment. And also, there's an appropriation of net assets of 245,000 uh, to come up with the total 280,000 needed uh, for the for the I and I issue. And the next four uh, are to um, ensure that there's enough funds in 420 administration uh, with the manager search and the finance vacancy. Um, and so to do that, we are requesting to uh, decrease the health insurance uh, budget in 10-5-10, the retirement budget in 10 5, well, the health insurance budget in 10 5, 10 by 15000 the retirement budget in 10 5, 10 by 7000 and increase travel and professional services by 7000 and 15000 And the, the final two... Uh, budget amendments, budget changes on the budget amendment 42 for the year end budget amendments is to move um, to decrease 10 560 uh, salaries by 15,000 and to increase 10 580 uh, for repairs and equipment um, to ensure that the department, uh, san the sanitation department has enough funds. Uh, for the year for the uh, repairs that were made on the used garbage truck while before the new one was able to be purchased. So following the normal process as we move things back and forth to the end of the year, we're now back in balance. Right. Everything's Correct. good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The chair here motion we approve the amendment. So made. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? There being none, all in favor, indicate so we're saying yes? Yes. 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 Opposed, no? It is done. Okay, the next item is another budget amendment, which has come from the PEG funds, which is money is collected up from the uh, cable tax that we get back to do things like record our, our program here, which passes through Nash Community College and others. And we have an increase of $6,757 in this fund. Uh, the cherry motion approved the uh, the budget amendment. So moved. Been Second. moved. Second. And seconded. Is there any discussion? There being none, all in favor indicate so we're saying yes? Yes. Opposed yes. 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 no. <coughs> we'll add the money to the budget. Okay, number five, council comments. Who would like to start with? Kate? No comments tonight, Mayor. Good, good. Is then? 
Um, I was going to ask, when is our police chief taking the oath of office? We are waiting for the last last set of papers to arrive, and I'm not sure where they are. Are they still in motion? I'll defer to Lou. Yes, we are waiting for training and painters to complete the paperwork. As soon as we have that from them, we will be able to swear them in. Okay. Is that a problem in the meantime? No. Shouldn't be. We have plenty of other sworn people. We, we likely would have had them already, but I think they went to some place. Well, they went to, to the interim chief um, email. email, so. And Joey's not watching it anymore. So it kind of sat there, and that's why we didn't. It hasn't been processed timely as a result of that. Okay. Okay, excellent. Mr. Taylor? No comment from that, Mayor. Mr. Taylor? <clears throat> Mayor, I got, uh, I've got just two things I want to bring up, and I realize this is an agenda meeting and not our regular meeting, but uh, a week and a half ago, we had an a, a individual that was working construction-wise at our new uh, auto parts place, O'Reilly's, and he passed out, and I've, I've learned from the fire department that he was down near the street working, and the people up in the parking lot could not see him. He had a heart attack and passed out. Oh, Luckily enough, somebody crossed the street, saw him and came over, and then alerted our alerted EMS, and our fire department is to be commended. Uh, I understand that uh, the gentleman was after staying in the hospital for a week and a half, he was released to go home, and the kind of heart attack he had is, is, is normally called a, a Widowmaker. Right. So if it hadn't, it hadn't been for the, the people across the street watching, and for our fire department being on top on top of it all, uh, he probably wouldn't be here today. So I, I think our fire department needs to be commended for yeah. doing another great job. So yeah, that's the that's the big artery in the back. That's the that big one in yeah, the back. Yeah, right. yeah, been there. So uh, I, once again, our guys well, my, have, have well, my stepped up. My, well, my kudos and on behalf of the council and everyone else, we thank the fire department for being on top of things. They are. They that, really are. That's uh, a very very important thing that people feel comfortable and safe in the town. Yep. And the last thing is our next agenda meeting, which is July 31st, uh, I will not be here. Okay. 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 Uh, the next item, we have two two issues uh, to discuss in closed session, one concerning real estate and one concerning personnel. The chair here motion, we go into closed session. Second. Second. Yes, we move to second, we go into closed session. Is there any discussion? Okay. There being none, all in favor, indicate someone saying yes? Yes. yes. Opposed, no. Okay, accordingly, we are in closed session. We should be back in just a few minutes, so you, you can pick, pick up your thing and move on.